This is Scott Spratt from ProFootballFocus.com, and this is another Fantasy Slam. Last season, there were several rookie receivers that made an impact in fantasy. In particular, Keenan Allen of the Chargers had an effective season, actually finishing as a top 20 ride receiver. Cordero Patterson of the Vikings took a little bit longer to get going, but over the last six weeks of the season, he too was a top t- uh, 20 wide receiver in fantasy. Justin Hunter of the Titans didn't have nearly as an effective rookie season. With just 18 catches, 354 yards, and four touchdowns, he was actually barely inside the top 100 among fantasy receivers. However, was Hunter was drafted in the second round by the Titans for a reason. He's a very athletic player and one that I think could have a major improvement in his second season. Hunter's problem last year was mostly from a lack of opportunities. He only had one-third as many snaps in the offense as outside wide receiver Nate Washington. He'll be back with the team this year, but he had a very ineffective season last year. When quarterbacks from Tennessee threw the ball to Washington, they had just a 58.2 quarterback rating. That was 87th um, of 94 qualified wide receivers, putting him near the bottom of the list there. Meanwhile, when Hunter did have the ball thrown his way, he was very effective. He had 0.37 fantasy points per opportunity based on the number of carries and pass routes run that he had. That puts him in company of several effective wide receivers like Michael Floyd, uh, Reggie Wayne, and Marcus Colston, and bodes well for him going forward. In particular, the thing I like about Hunter is his size. He's six foot four and 196 pounds, and you saw him use that size to his advantage with those four touchdown catches last season. Meanwhile, the number one receiver on the Titans is expected to be Kendall Wright, who had a great sophomore season himself last season with 94 catches, 1,079 yards, and two touchdowns. However, Wright is more of a slot receiver, and at 5'10 and 194 pounds, he's one that probably won't make much of an impact in the red zone. In addition to those two touchdowns last season, Wright had four his rookie season, which means that he's only had six touchdowns in his two-year NFL career. I mean, Hunter already has four in very limited opportunities last year. Expect that number to jump up towards 8-10 to if Hunter ends up becoming the number one receiver on the outside for the team, which I think is definitely a possibility this season. The other main obstacle for Hunter is really going to be at the quarterback position, where Jake Locker enters the final year of his rookie contract. Locker could be gone in the season if things don't go well for him this year, which again would bode well for Hunter long term potentially. But if Locker can stay healthy this season, he's actually shown some flashes uh, of being a successful player in the league. Either way, I think Hunter is going off as a value right now, going off as sort of a mid-40s wide receiver outside the top 100 in most redraft leagues. I think that low position in in drafts is more the result of the lack of faith that Hunter is going to be clearly a starter on this team. And I think that uh, by the end of the training camp, he will be ahead of Nate Washington on the team. As such, I think that Hunter makes a very effective uh, late round lottery pick in smaller redraft leagues. After all, we saw Alshon Jeffrey have a very effective jump from a similar productive uh, season as a rookie himself. And Hunter is also a dynamic playmaker in the making. This is Scott Spratt from ProFootballFocus.com. Thanks for tuning in.